Brand new information for you this morning. The man who Cape Coral police say led them on a bizarre chase involving a stolen police car that ended in a fiery crash is now in jail. Four in your corners, Malcolm Johnson is live this morning at the Lee County Courthouse with a first look at this suspect. Malcolm. Hey, this is a bizarre case, Chris and Miriam. Good morning. We are still waiting to confirm whether or not David Fernandez will have his first appearance in court later on this morning inside of the Lee County Courthouse behind me. Police say this all started Monday night when they arrested David Fernandez for driving on a suspended license, but we are getting our first look at Fernandez this morning. Take a look. Here's his mugshot where he's still in his hospital gown. Fernandez has been in the hospital since Monday night when police say he kicked out the window of a squad car during a possible DUI stop, jumped into a nearby volunteer police car, and took off, eventually crashing it into a pole. The incident has the department taking a look at their own policies and procedures to make sure something like this just doesn't happen again. Well, the volunteer actually attempted to stop the suspect. Um, and while, you know, we're appreciative of that volunteer's efforts, we don't want them to put themselves in harm's way. Police do believe that Fernandez wanted to harm himself. They say he told EMS workers he, quote, wanted to kill himself. The report says he also admitted to drinking before all of this went down. And now here he is facing 15 charges. Again, we are still waiting to confirm whether or not he will appear in front of a judge later today. First appearances generally take place inside of the Lee County Courthouse at 9 a.m. Reporting in Fort Myers, Malcolm Johnson, Fox 4, Rising. Malcolm, thank you.